This man has a singular advantage over other men. Ben Richards is immune to every known disease, including old age. Periodic transfusions of his blood can give other men a second, a third lifetime, perhaps more. Find Ben Richards. The effects of a transfusion are only temporary. I must therefore control Ben Richards' life permanently. He's the most valuable man in the world, but he's no good to be dead. His brother may have the same kind of blood. We've got to find him before Richards does. If you had million dollar blood, where would you hide? I didn't ask for this. I was a test driver. I liked the job. One day the doctor told me I had some kind of special blood. I don't understand it, but I know this. Everything they're offering, I don't want. I gotta live free. Richards will live longer than anyone has ever lived. But a transfusion to the wrong man could make him a prisoner for all time. And so he runs from the hunters, the human hounds who would cage him. <laughs> Furnish something that you want. Nonsense. I have everything. True. Everything. But not the health to enjoy it. I can offer you a miracle that will let you thumb your nose at The Undertaker for the next ten years. Of course, if you're not interested. What precisely do you have to sell me? Blood. They pump it into me by the gallon. What need would I have for more blood? This is very special blood. One transfusion saved Jordan Braddock's life. Maybe you remember, after the plane crash. I did hear some vague reports about an amazing recovery. Get me that blood. Without asking me what I want. I won't haggle. A million dollars cash for the donor. I'm afraid he got away, but... Find him. I'll finance your hunt. What's his name? Ben Richards. Find him. Are you happy, Sylvia? Oh, Ben. I love you. I love you so much, I can hardly stand it. But I thought I was dying. I was scared. I didn't care what happened to you. I didn't know. No, they told. I told the doctor about it's okay. you. It's okay. Now he knows. <laughs> Anybody. Not even me. I've thought this over very carefully, Sylvia. I love you, but I want you to forget me. I've got to spend the rest of my life running, running from Fletcher and men like him. But I want you to know I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you for as long as I live. Did you really grow up here, David? Sure did. It's a little 
It's a little large for a family of four, isn't it? No, not really. There aren't that many rooms. They're pretty good size, though, especially my sister's. You could shoot skeet in her room. <laughs> well, I never shot a skeet, but I understand that they're very good roasted. With raisins? <laughs> Sylvia, you're delightful. But you do look over your shoulder a lot. Forget something? No, just a few problems. Which are over. Or just beginning, depending on how you look at it. Operator, place a long-distance call to uh, Sylvia Carton. Yeah? Are you decent? Most of the time. You've got a phone call. Some man. Okay, thanks. Hello? Sylvia? Can you hear? Uh, there may be something wrong with this line. Uh, yeah, I understand. I just read about your engagement. I've got to talk to you about that. Why? What's the point? I've got to see you. There's something vital that you don't know. Yeah. I'll try. I'll try. I have to leave now. It's a voice print match. What about the trace? Uh, from a phone booth 200 miles away. And the girl was the key. How many times have I said that, Fletcher? It was a good move. They're all good moves. The surveillance on Sylvia Cartwright, phone taps, encouraging Hiller to believe that I'm interested in this textile business. Now, you've arranged to get Richards out of there as soon as we get him. Yes, sir, Mr. Maitland. There will be an ambulance at the Hiller residence by the time that we get there. Good. You understand, I'll be busy simulating profound interest in Hiller and Son all day. Yes. I assume you've assigned enough men to handle everything. Yes, sir. I'll have six of our security men from National Research at the Hiller home. If Richards makes his move, he'll make it at that party. You can count on it. Cars and circling the house. Men's heads turned by alcohol with cleavage and the noise and the confusion. Yes, Richards will make his move today. Hardly such a festive party move. Mr. Maitland has a slight heart condition. He likes to have medical equipment close by. There's no door handles. How does anyone get out? Uh, probably some kind of electrical control. Yeah, probably.
Mother, you're the belle of the ball. You say all the right things, David. Next will be that I'm not losing a son, but gaining a daughter. <laughs> Walter! Walter, darling! I've been looking for you. Harriet, look who just arrived. Mr. Maitland. May I present my wife? How do you do? How do you do? And Mr. Maitland's associate, Mr. Fletcher. Mrs. Hiller, may I say you're the crowning touch of a lovely party. I'm sure you recognize Arthur Maitland, Harriet. He's been on all the magazine covers. Of course. I'd have recognized you anywhere, Mr. Maitland. I just love your magazines. <laughs> My mother's wit is legendary in Newfield, Mr. Maitland. So I've heard. David, you and your father will be cornering the market on beautiful women once you marry Miss Cartwright. Oh, by the way, where is your beautiful bride to be? I was just on my way to find her. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Maitland, a drink? Why not? This is an occasion. I bet you didn't know that you were going to be marrying a party pooper, did you? What gives? Would you believe a headache? That telephone call yesterday. What makes you say that? What makes you so jumpy? I'm sorry. I'll ask that again on our 25th anniversary. One refill coming up. David, I think one of us should be present at our own engagement party. I'll be out of this funk in just a minute, promise. All right. Sylvia. see me. Hey, uh, congratulations. Oh, no. No, you don't understand. I love you. I need your help. leads to it. Look, uh, I'm sorry about this, Miss... My name is Sherry Hiller. I come sweet and dry. And this is my very best year. David Hiller's sister. You mean David is my brother. 
Oh, uh, let's forget any ransom. I'm not worth beans to Daddy. You see, I march and protest and, oh, get a little drunk and land in jail and Daddy has to bail me out. Hey, you're cute. Let's, uh, talk about body damage. Well, my front end. The car. I did hit something, didn't I? Well, if you did, uh, I owe you. Oh. Just stick around long enough for me to collect. Merchandising is the answer. I don't care if you're selling mice or missiles. I'm afraid you couldn't sell me either, no matter how you packaged it. But your husband here manufactures a basic and staple necessity, while everybody else is trying to get rich on gimmicks. That's what intrigues me about Hillary and son. And wife. Well behind every great man. Excuse me, please. Mr. Maitland. He got away. Get him, Fletcher. Get him now. Mr. Maitland, is there something I can do? Well, you can shut up and let me think to start with. I've got more important things on my mind than Hiller and Son at the moment. Mr. Maitland, let me help. There must be something. I'm sorry, Mr. Hiller. It's not your fault. Something just happened that upset me. Mother, Dad. Sylvia, we have other guests. I'll be right along, David. So it's you? Yes. Has been for some time. I knew I was in a battle. I'm glad to find out I won. The battle, not the war. I don't know if uh, it's your reckless driving or all this fresh air, but I seem to be sobering up. Ben, what are you? Uh, housebreaker, kidnapper, fugitive, party pooper? All of them. And none of them. All right, mystery guest. Should I be scared? That doesn't help. <laughs> I keep telling my father that, but he's still scared. Of money. Oh, not the lack of it. He's got enough, but... Oh, he's afraid of not getting more. Just doesn't make sense. Sherry, there's someone at your house I have to see. Sylvia Cartwright. Why not ring the bell? Well, there's some people there. They don't want me to come to the party. It's too hard to explain, but... Believe me, it's very important that I see her. What are you to Sylvia? Jerry, I have to see her. And I can do it with your help. Why should I? Well, uh, why do you march? Protest. <laughs> you mean you're a good cause? I don't know if I am, but Sylvia is. What do you want me to do? Got the men watching on the off chance he tries to come back. He'll come back. Let's make it easy for him to get in, but set up roadblocks around the entire area so he can't get out. Hi. Where have you been? <laughs> Out. What have I been doing? Everything. In a sports car? <laughs> oh. oh. Remember, Big Brother, when I was about nine years old and I was taking a shower and you came in and turned off the hot water? Sibling rivalry. <laughs> well, I've decided to forgive you if you'll get me a drink. All right. 
Excuse me. He's in the garage. Hurry. Miss Cartwright seems to be leaving. Check her. I'll be right back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, forgive me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was a... Let me get no. a napkin and I'll clean you off. No, it, it is all right. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, Excuse please. me, please. let him think that I was, and I let him make and make the announcement. Just to get your enemies off my back, I just found out who they were today. I know that's a... It's a pretty terrible thing to do to David, I know, but there isn't anything I wouldn't do to get you back. Anything. You thought if you were happily engaged, they'd stop following you. Mm -hmm. I was going to tell David and then just disappear. I knew you'd find me somehow. But now the whole thing's backfired. And you're in worse trouble now than you were before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You just did what you thought was best. I'm sorry. So you're the test driver I've heard about, huh? The last I heard, you finished out of the money. Sylvia wasn't lying. I haven't been around. David, please forgive me, please. Your guests have been wondering about you and Sylvia, David. Can anyone play or do you have to work for Maitland? I'm just involved in a scavenger hunt. I have to bring back one Ben Richards. Take any direction you want, Ben. Go ahead. Mr. Maitland. Isn't immortality enough? You also have to lead a charmed life. Don't stand there looking so desperate. Sit down. You might as well relax. It's obvious that you're outnumbered. You can build your cage, Maitland. But I'll get out somehow. Oh, I don't doubt that you'll try for a while. But I think you have a very ugly, distorted picture of what I have in mind for you. Hungry? Don't you know? Yes. Yes, I do know. Everything worth knowing about you. 
I know that you're the embodiment of an untethered soul. But you forget, my estate is larger than the narrow worlds most people live in. Big enough to uh, test the car? We'll compensate for that, Ike. Anything you want, without reason, as long as it can be accomplished within the boundaries. Books, film, music, ballet, companions, any companion, even Richard, even Miss Cartwright. You think about that. Yeah. And you'll have a camera watching me the rest of my life. It doesn't make any difference where he goes. We have him covered. Sylvia went up to her room. I went to look for her, and I couldn't find her. I just want to know if she's in danger. Well, she could be. Hello. Are you two choosing up weapons? <laughs> Have you seen Sylvia? No. Has anyone left? Just the ambulance. The ambulance left? Where's your car? Out front. You're the expert driver. Do you think you could catch an ambulance? With her car, I could. It's had a head start. Well, ambulance makes noise, but they don't move that fast. Then we have to try. Hold it. Now, these men have weapons, and you've got family here. <laughs> Am I too young to be hearing this? Sis, can you think without asking questions? When you ask like that, I can. Well, what we need is a diversion to help us get out of here. One diversion coming up. Watch. Sheriff's Department? Yes, I'd like to lodge a complaint. There's a wild party at the Hiller place. Yes, I'm sure it's that Sherry and her wild friends. I think you'd better hurry because, well, who knows what they're smoking or drinking or whatever they do with that stuff. Thank you so much. He's gonna turn when he hits the junction. Then we'll have to get there first. Oh, I grabbed this out of Dad's study on the way out. I don't know if it's loaded or not, though. I'm afraid it isn't. Well, we won't tell anyone. Let me have that. There he is.
Come on, get down, down here. Well, I played right into Fletcher's hands. What about Sylvia? I don't know. All right, get up. Look, I got maybe 30 bucks. You can have it. But you don't know one thing. I'm just an ex-Navy medic. Found a soft job. The man says to me, drive out here. I did. So if there's nothing else you want... All right, get in. Just keep heading the direction you were. Yes, sir. We could use a bright idea. Fresh out. Maybe they kept her back at the house. Yeah, maybe. Were you just gonna stand here all day? Yeah, for as long as it takes. For what? The swap. You for Sylvia. First he had to let me know he had her. Then he had to get me away from the crowd. Would I get some answers if I asked you to explain some of this? I suppose you were expecting me, Richards? As soon as your ambulance driver called you. I know Mr. Maitland would want me to thank you for being so predictable. Hiller, you can take her home now. Don't give in, Ben. Get in the car, Ben. That's a bluff, Richards, all bluff. One word from me and she buys it. One word from you, and you're dead. You won't shoot me. Try me. Congratulations. All right. Tell I got to drop that gun. Nice and easy. Eddie, you heard him. Drop the gun. Now, let the girl out of the car. Watch it, Fletcher. Hands behind your head. Now yours. David, get the keys and pull his radio phone. Right. You think of everything, don't you? Come on, move it.
Jensen, this is Fletcher. Richards has taken off up the Delabo Canyon Road. Cut him off. Take the car, back it up, block the road off now. Move. Eddie, you said you were a race car driver when I hired you. Get in, see if this works, and we'll see how good you are. stopping for we're home free how many other cars do you think Fletcher has staked out I wouldn't have figured that. Well, you yeah, haven't been running that long. Get out, hurry. Dan, what, what are you... If I can help him out of this and still end up with you, then I'll know it's all for the right reasons. Stay with him.
Why some guys just gotta be heroes? Oh, come on. Where is he? Well, it's funny. He was here a minute ago. Get him out. Now, be smart, Mr. Hiller. You've got no stake in this. Where's Richards? We make a heroic figure, do we not, Mr. Hiller? Our lovely little fiancé is off somewhere in the arms of the other man. But we keep a stiff upper lip. Marvellous. No need. No need. He must have left Richards up there by the dirt road. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Let's go. I want you to stay here. If Fletcher shows up, use this. Ben, I'm coming with you. I haven't, I haven't come this far to stay in hide. No, I can, I can travel faster alone, and I'll be back. I promise. All right? Okay. Call off your dogs. Come on. All units, this is Fletcher. Meet me back at the house.
Well, it's all over for now. Let's go find David. Phone Sherry. Uh, Dave, uh. Yeah. I want to thank you. If you hadn't been around, they'd have had me. I'll trade a thank you for an explanation. Maybe later. All right. deserve a winner. Maybe one. I have two. You know, just when you think you know somebody. He surprised you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know we'll always be running. Sometimes, Ben, I think that I should be marked fragile. So that everybody can see that inside... I'm a very breakable girl. I don't love you any less, Ben. Ever since I shot that man, I knew. You can't live like this. No. Oh, Ben. I tried without you, and that didn't work. Please tell me what to do. Please. Forget. be back. That's not exactly what I asked. David, a part of me will go with Ben wherever he goes. I can't help that. We had something very good. I'm sorry for him. Somehow I have a feeling he doesn't have a chance. He has a chance. As long as he doesn't quit. And he won't. Not Ben. <laughs> 